Look around you, black child. Your creation is everywhere. Though painted, distorted, given new names, they bear your prints just the same. So sharpen your eyes, tune your ear, so you know what you see, understand what you hear. You were the first to write, the first to read. Humanity sprang from your black seed. For 110,000 years, you were here alone, and then the Caucasian man was born. Behind the ice, inside the cold, a chill set in this new man's soul. Other minds have been credited with the things they learned from you. Newton, Pythagoras, Kepler, and Galileo too. Sharpen your eyes, tune your ear, so you'll know what you see, understand what you hear. You made the serpent the symbol of the healing arts, and African justice was goddess Mott, who weighed herself against the African soul, truth and justice blindfold. The George Washington Monument is yours too, a copy of the African Tekanu. The symbol of the black world's powers of creation, the black man's penis in divine procreation. The king of southern Egypt wore the white crown. Keep listening and you catch your mouth. When you learn that the central government in Egypt was known as the White House, sharpen your eyes, tune your ear, so you know what you see, understand what you hear. Your god Osiris was restored to life long before Buddha, long before Christ. And today what you call the Madonna and child is but the first black family worshipped long the Nile. And when you feel the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, you should know it started at Abydos, where God Osiris's body was laid, the Holy Land, where Africans prayed. Minute by minute, hour by hour, as you lose your history, you lose your power. So sharpen your eyes, tune your ear, so you know what you see, understand what you hear.